All right, a lot of people interested in this. Could Jeffrey and Je Jeffrey the giraffe and his friends really? <laughs> you know, not not just Jeffrey by himself. Right. He's got to bring his friends. Mm. Are they going to be coming back? That certainly is a sentimental mm. question, don't you think? Yeah. Consumer reporter John Matteris looks into reports that Toys R Us plans to restart the business. But first, news about a Kroger candy sale. John. <laughs> Kristen, viewers have been asking me for two weeks now when Kroger will have its annual candy sale. It usually starts around October 1st. So we went to Kroger management to find out what's going on. Well, Kroger tells me the sale will be a bit different this year than in past years. From now through Tuesday, October 16th, assorted Hershey, Mars, Nestle and Wonka fun size bags will be $1.99 not $1.88 as in some past years. And you must purchase at least four bags for the sale pricing. You can't buy just one or two bags. You may have heard the big news this morning. Toys R Us may be planning a comeback after all, but how soon can they do it? And will they really reopen their shuttered stores or will it be something else? When Toys R Us closed this past summer, longtime Toys R Us kids like Julie Castilla were emotional seeing the Kenwood store shut down. Just kind of saying goodbye? Yep. Yeah. Yep, goodbye to our childhood store. But suddenly there's a glimmer of hope. The owners of the company's name and remaining assets, Jeffrey LLC, have just canceled an auction, and now they're looking into restarting the business. In a brief statement, the company said they hope to create new domestic retail operating businesses under the Toys R Us and Babies R Us names. What could that mean? Retail analysts say it could lead to reopening some shuttered stores or opening small pop-up stores inside other stores, such as Walmart, Kohl's, or Macy's, or becoming an online-only business, which is what happened to Circuit City. However, nothing will happen this holiday season, leaving tri-state moms and dads wondering where to go for their children's toys this fall. Where do you think you're going to shop this year? Uh, probably Target and Amazon, maybe mm -hmm. Walmart. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But none of them will be able to fully replace the experience of the world's largest toy store, which is why it's possible Jeffrey and his friends just may be coming back. Yes, it sure would be great to have Toys R Us back, but it's very unlikely to happen this holiday season. So what are parents supposed to do? Well, I hope you can join me tonight at 11 as I look at the toy store wars that are starting between Target and Walmart and some other stores that are building up their toy selections right now. Other stores are doing it as well. So where will you find the biggest selection and the lowest prices this year? Join me tonight at 11 p.m. A nine on your side. Finally, it's you win Wednesday and tomorrow. Oh, yes, it's one of those made up holidays that I often talk about and make fun of tomorrow, October 4th. Do you know what it is? Craig, Taco National Taco Day. Yes, Taco Bell has four tacos for $5. Kidoba has free chips and salsa for members of its rewards club. Moe's Southwest Grill has BOGO tacos for reward members. On WCPR.com, read my report about the collapsing decks at one Northern Kentucky condo complex. And as part of that, a warning for all condo owners so you don't waste your money, Kristen.